Hello and welcome back to Highest Light Consciousness. My name is Linda and this channel is about helping you to illuminate your light within that empowers you to live in your highest light consciousness. Welcome back everyone. Sorry I haven't been on in a little bit. Been working on the guided meditation. Has anybody seen it? Comment down below. Has anybody done it? Is it helpful? Let me know. We're in the park today. We're going to try this with a mic. Sorry, I'm in, I'm in Florida. It, the, the bugs are big and bad in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing? Everybody hanging in there? There's a lot going on in the world. And I know this video is about empaths. I left off with are you an empath and did the questionnaire with everyone. So today I, I want to focus on four things that can help you if you are an empath. If you're not an empath, it probably will still help you. So we're gonna so we're, we're gonna get right into it. I pulled a card the reason I'm in the park is uh, is relative to the card that I pulled for everybody these are from let's see if I can get this here hopefully hopefully everybody can see that okay it's from the fairy deck fairies remember fairies are nature's angels if anybody didn't know and you can call on them and they can help you this is the card right here the magic of nature I hope everybody can see that okay it's a beautiful card, the magic of nature. Hence why we're in the park today. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm gonna start out with the card and then I'm gonna get into four things that, that will help anyone who's, who, who's an empath right now, briefly. I'm gonna try and keep this read today. So I'm gonna read from, from, the, from the, the book here a little bit on what the card means and the affirmations and how it can help us. So the magic of nature, the card meaning, spend time outdoors why we're in the park that's why we're in the park among the flowers plants and trees nature has powerful gifts that she wants to share with you including ideas information and healing energy when you are disconnected from mother earth and for anybody that that is is new on their journey that does not understand mother earth is an actual living breathing being it's true I promise you so living breathing being and that's it's very helpful to empaths for us to connect with nature it's very what's called grounding for us it helps kind of reset our energy and get us centered back into our center and alignment so just want to just as an aside want to let you know that when you are disconnected from mother earth you may feel depressed or lethargic without knowing why earth too feels distraught when you don't connect with her on a regular basis she needs you to be amidst her beauty so that she can telegraph information to you in this way you'll know best how to care for your planet by drawing this card you're being urged to spend time daily even as little as five minutes can make a huge shift outside in nature remove your shoes socks or nylons and connect your bare feet with the soil sod or sand close your eyes and take a few deep breaths as you're surrounded by the magical energy of nature mentally ask the fairies to help you with any issues you may have it's easier to, to connect with them when you're out in nature then open your eyes and look for their their flitting light which is the first sign that you are seeing the fairies that surround you don't worry if you can't see them. Some people don't, what's called translate vibration that way. Some people don't, are not clairvisual. They don't, they don't see things. I'm one of those. I mean, I see words, conversations. I'm claircognizant, which is you just have a knowing. But some people can actually see them. And I know, I, I have heard of people that can actually see them. I mean, how awesome is that? And you may be one of them and you just don't know it yet. Affirmation, I love being outside in nature. I feel energized by the sunshine, fresh air, plants, and animals. I take excellent care of every living being, including myself. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today, especially for empaths, is the best ways for you to care for yourself. And these things will help you on your journey and help you be more connected with, your, with the gift of being an, an empath. So one part in this I wanted to go back to is she needs you to be a Mr. Beauty so that she can telegraph information to you. When you're out in nature where, unless it's on a battery like a camera, sometimes your phone works, sometimes it doesn't. I would encourage you to shut it off. 
I know there's safety because I know I go out in places where people have told me that I need bear spray. So <laughs> by myself, I mean, they're, they're state maintained kind of parks and everything. But when you're out away from, from everything and you're where you can hear the birds and you can just be still and take a deep breath and stop your mind from going in circles or maybe maybe some thought patterns that maybe aren't for your highest good that are not serving you well when you get out in nature and you, you can just look and appreciate the beauty of this planet it can it's it's pretty magnificent take a deep breath and tap in this telegraph that is what it is it's like you connect with sometimes your inner being who you really are it's a lot easier to, to connect with your higher self your, your guardian angels your spirit guides loved ones that have crossed over which are your ancestors um and and all of that and other light beings that are for your highest good it's it's easier to connect that way and even five minutes and i know like in florida i know i apologize i'm like dripping with um with with sweat because I mean it, it is just it's hot as blazes out and you know but don't don't let that don't let that distract you from taking the time to take care of yourself okay four things we're talking about four things this is one of them caring for yourself having an awareness of when you're burnt out of when you know maybe you've been in, in front of a computer all day anyone you know working all that kind of stuff and it can be draining there's electromagnetic frequencies and all that kind of stuff that can drain you that's why when you're out in nature how it's supposed to be and you're away from all of that it helps reset your I'm, I'm talking energy right now today this is more basic stuff I'm gonna get in I'm gonna get into more of light infusions that's gonna be through meditations and I'm gonna be getting into more information about the highest light collective consciousness and all of that but you, there there is an element of energy and understanding how what that is what it feels like and how to work that for your benefit so four things another part of caring this is this is one, one, one of the four things is taking like taking an epsom salt bath epsom salts are wonderful they help balance your hydration your your fluid balance um because a lot of us are dehydrated much of the time and we don't know that that can be a drain on your energy big time uh put some essential oils in there that's number two that's that's one of the four essential oils put some lavender oil or any one that any kind of blend that you like i recommend the certified therapeutic grade level of oils not all essential oils are the same but if they're a certified therapeutic grade level i'll just do that instead of mentioning specific names right now i'm not sure how all that works with all the, <laughs> all the stuff but to try, put put some, put a few drops of that in the bath put some epsom salts there's some bubble bath shut the door unless you have cats then like they don't like closed doors <laughs> but you know light a candle just a little basic candle i'm gonna be i think i'm gonna be putting some of my favorites linked down below i'm looking into maybe making some candles for everybody that are infused with that highest light collective consciousness that power um so that alone in itself remember water is an element can totally shift where you're at energetically and just let stuff go in there and just with the intention of as the water drains just let whatever is, is not serving you for your highest good let it go down the drain right essential oils one thing be right back one thing I, w I wanted to show you because sometimes people are, are steered away from essential oils because they don't understand how to use them or the best way to use them it's you know some do you use a carrier oil do you not is it better you know can you use some of them straight on how do i do it how would i get it out of the bottle it's not like you know if you have perfume or something like that you just spray it on so i want to show you this this is a this is a a roller ball that i made i put grounding on it because i use this with a grounding blend so this is basically like 15 drops of essential oil you can get these on amazon i can link some comment down below if you want me to list some some favorites as far as like products and things that are very helpful that i've already tried um with these 
Oh, I'm sorry, juggling, juggling too many things. With these, this is called a roller ball. So anybody that's not familiar with these, so what you do is you take a carrier oil, right? Like um, fractionated coconut oil is a good one to use on, the, on this application. And you, this particular kind of roller ball is the best that I found. The ones that are plastic, they don't last. You lose the roller ball, it comes apart, makes a mess, you know, and then you got essential oil all over your pocketbook and all that. So I, I can link some of those, some of my favorites uh, down below. But so this is called the roller ball. So when, so all you do is you mix the carrier oil, you put about 15, there's about 15 drops of, of the essential oil in this for about three quarters of the way. This is a 10 ml. So, and I can get into specifics on that. Comment down below if you want me to, but then you just take this and then you just, you know, when you're out and you're somewhere and you just don't, you just roll it on. It's already mixed. So it makes it a lot easier to use them. It, it hits your olfactory senses. These actually hit the limbic system in your brain. It's very good when you're doing, when you're doing like emotional freedom technique work, when you're trying to do release traumas, when you're trying to do your inner work, spiritual work. I can get into more of that. I'm going to be getting into more of that too. Um, so they're very helpful for that because if you rewrite a memory or a traumatic event and you use these oils with it, at the end of it, that's going to imprint that in your brain. So every time you use it, you're in, it's a healed state, if that makes sense. So that, that's a big one, it's essential oils, some things on the caring for yourself kind of side of things. That's the bath, some oils. Um, the next thing I wanted to mention was crystals. Hold on one second. Okay, so crystals. So this right here, shout out to my friend Paula. Thank you, Paula. This is a shungite. This is a black shungite bracelet. Shungite is great for uh, transmuting and absorbing EMFs. It's good for protection, not in a fear state. It's just in this realm where we are right now, in this dimension, there are, there can be some, you can have interference from negative, lower vibrational type things. People can be carrying stuff around. It could be, you know, I mean, we've all had, we've all been through things, right? So it's just, it just helps shield you from that, from that stuff. And you can program crystals. I can get into more of that in future videos, trying to keep this shorter, but you can program them. This is, I are a mess, but this one is what's called uh, black tourmaline. If you can see that, this is black tourmaline. This is a great, this is a natural transmuter of negative energy. You can, if you want to keep it in your pocket or wherever, or there's pendants, um, normally I have one of those on, and you, you can program that to basically transmute any negative energy. You give gratitude to Spirit of Tourmaline because these are from Mother Earth. Remember, Mother Earth is a living, is a living, breathing being. So you can actually program this within 10 feet of my field, within five feet of my energy field, please just transmute any kind of negative energy and shield me from things that are not for my highest good. And we'll do that. It's very, very, very powerful. Uh, it's good to sit around computers, things, phones, things to generate EMFs. There are also other technologies that can help transmute those. There is a, I, I can link it down below. It's a specific kind of a sticker. I know that may sound crazy, but it, it scrambles those EMFs so they don't affect your, your energy field. I've used them and I know they work because I can tell. I, I've had um, adrenal function issues and thyroid and all that stuff. So it, they're, they're very, um, which EMS can impact all of those. So the, they're very helpful. I'll try and um, link those down below. The other thing that I, I wanted to mention is, uh, well, meditation. I mean, obviously, because that raises your vibration. It helps clear things um, and helps you energetically as well level of consciousness all that. that's why i did the guided meditation that's why i'm bringing the highest light collective consciousness through in that way another thing is i wanted to show you is um this is a sage stick this is white sage this is great for clearing things if you're in a new say you go on vacation right and you show up and you're in this place and you're like man i just feel i don't know what what what's going on you know 
take burn some of this white sage you just have to burn it and then like these sticks that are made like this they'll just burn then you should just leave them in a dish and it will eventually go out or you can just kind of run them under water to put it out but just light the top of this kind of like you would a candle and then you'll see it'll smoke that's normal it has a strong kind of earthy smell and then you just kind of walk around with it with with the intention of clearing clearing anything that's not for your highest good anything of a lower vibrational nature and you just kind of walk around and just clear the field you can do that um, I recommend that also with clearing um, this actually is a natural transmuter but things like shungite need to be clean there's black obsidian is another black protective type stone that definitely that could become like a trash can like so you have to clear it right energetically because if remember if it's, if, if it's absorbing negative stuff you need to kind of clear it so like with this you would just um or this you just light this hold it under it with the intention to clear it for a little bit you can the best way to clear these is in running water like a river and all that kind of a thing or you can also do that running it under water it's a little bit about crystals a little bit about essential oils a little bit about some sage about energetic clearing and then the, the 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 biggest one is caring for yourself that has to do with awareness it has to do meditation like we talked about take taking a bath being out in nature all those kinds of things i hope that's helpful comment down below if you think it's helpful please like if this please like this if you're finding any value in this content and subscribe hit the top bell for all notifications so you'll be notified whenever i uh, release um, new videos i'm trying to link a playlist of all videos um, until it picks up on the search engine better uh, and down below there'll be what's called a playlist so that has every video that has been done if you're new to the channel so you can see um, you can check back and see what we talked about and reference um, other things so that that's a little bit about if you're an empath things that are helpful and how to better take care of yourself and I promise you it works the other big thing the other last thing I want to talk about this is under the caring um, caring for yourself is shielding is shielding we've talked about that in other videos um, but basically it's where you take a few deep breaths you imagine a white you can say highest light is fine too highest bright light coming down and then enveloping you and then you're in a bubble of highest brightest light with the intention of shielding you from anything that's not for your highest good anything that's of a low vibrational nature um, so when you go into a store it doesn't take a long time it's it's more the intention of it and calling on on that assistant right and you just you just it's it's as simple as that it's a it's a very simple procedure but it will keep you from having your energy kind of drained out of you right so that covers it oh i also i also wanted to do a shout out thank you to my friend christy for helping me with a microphone thank you for the meditation <laughs> oh so um so it won't so as hopefully it won't hurt your ears and it'll sound nice so let me know down below if that's helpful i want to wish everybody a great day evening afternoon morning night wherever you are in the world and i'm sending you much love light and peace and namaste to all I'll explain more what that means in the next video and another video but um hoping everybody's having having a great day you can reach me on instagram remember if you want to what's called direct message me it's like a text message if you find me on instagram it's it's on any phone it's an app you can download um, or any computer or whatnot and um send me a message say hi tell me what you like tell me what you don't like if you'd rather be more in that setting instead of like a formal public comment any feedback is greatly appreciated so i'm gonna leave you i'll leave you with that and i will say bye for now <laughs>